electric motor has arrived from Texas along with our complete battery system and motor controller. With the uh, freight it was a little bit longer than I had hoped but uh, three feet of snow outside I guess it didn't make all that much difference yet. We are the first of February. And our boating season doesn't start till long weekend in May, May 24th usually. So here we have, I think the majority of the wiring and the brains of the, the system. Here is the throttle control, which we will hopefully be able to set up and function with parts of our existing throttle system. You can see all of the components are contained within protective plastic housings which when it comes to time to install and operate will be a great safety and preservation measure. So here we have the controller box and the cords running out to the battery charging into the motor for operation and the throttle and just to verify we've got just a little over seven feet of length for the battery cables and that will allow us to determine our placement of the various components. Okay, next to the box, I believe, will be the battery charger. This will plug into the shore side power, and here we have the Anderson connection where the batteries will be connected to the other red and black. And then we'll take the top off and see what we have inside. Here, this seal is for our, part of our waterproofing. And important component. Here in our second box, we have the battery charger along with the BMS unit which keeps your individual cells of the battery packs balanced uh, which is a key factor when running EVs or electric marine motors. Very important to keep them well balanced. And these are all the cables that would run and connect to the cells in the battery, two battery packs. Fair bit of precise work here. And organized setup. So this is really going to allow this operation to be a plug and play uh, venture. Ladies and gentlemen, there's the piece de resistance. That is the motor and housing. It's going to fit onto the out drive. Not as light as to believe. Nonetheless, a lot less weight than the 250 horsepower gas engine. So here we have 
the adapter coming off the module for the back end of a Cobra engine with a special adapter fitting to take the spline drive that comes from the outboard drive and the electric motor 13.47 kilowatts and these are the power cables that will hook up to the three cables on the right that have come from the motor controller and control the power and RPM to be delivered by the motor. This is a temperature sensor which will hook into cabling so that the controller can monitor the sensor, the heat. These three orange cables are all labeled A, B, and C match the three uh, power cords coming off the controller. So once installed, all the controls are electronic and the sensing reading done by the controller. Showing the inside of the battery pack and the good quality craftsmanship putting this together this nickel manganese carbon lipo 48 volt pack uh, 6.7 kilowatts in total Let's see how cabling comes through and then up and we'll connect to the sensors wires as well as the connection to both the battery charger and for the uh, other 48 volt pack will be connected in series to make it a 96 volt system so quite an array of systems but basically it's all assembled and secure and we're just going to have to fit it in and plug and play will be the key to electric conversion and one of the very strong benefits uh, that it can be a do-it-yourself uh, with a little help from some friends. Okay, sign off for now.